Yep, Debbie YouTube, what's up boys and girls? It's your boy Zockstar once again coming at you with another vlog. On today's vlog, we've got a road trip, a big road trip. It's time for my wife to renew her passport, and unfortunately, we can't do it here in Melbourne, so we need to take a huge drive over to Canberra. Um, Canberra's a uh, Six and a half, seven hour drive. Um, it's just on 6.20 at the moment. Time for a quick coffee. Just checking the last items that we need to put in the car and take with us and we'll be heading off shortly. Um, I'm going to do this vlog just to show you guys what's needed when renewing your passport in Australia for the Filipinos. Um, we used to do a, um, a mobile mission. They used to come down from Canberra, which was pretty nice, but they normally <coughs> have limited spaces and if you don't get in at a certain time, you miss out. So we've missed out, which means we need to drive to Canberra. Now you can do this in Canberra or the Philippines consulate in Sydney. We're going to Canberra. It's closer to us. Uh, we could have flown But it's like $500 return tickets and we thought why not? Let's go for a drive. I haven't driven to Canberra before So it'd be a pretty nice experience nice roads all the way up there. So this will be a, a an experience for both of us first time drive to Canberra from Melbourne and hopefully it's going to be a nice drive, so without any further ado, let's Scooby Doo. So welcome back. In 400 meters, turn right onto Eggers Road and then turn left. <laughs> this is going to talk to us all the way, so I might turn that off somehow. But yeah, we're on our way. We're going to Canberra road trip. It's going to take six and a half hours. Six turn right onto Eggers Road and then turn left. Turn right, turn left, you silly GPS. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's going to take 6 hours and 25 minutes, 632 kilometres. <clears throat> like I said, we're on our way to Canberra. We need to renew the passport for the wife. And we're taking you with us. We're gonna, I'm going to explain what's needed, what you, what you need to do to renew the passport. I believe it's a pretty simple process. Uh, much more simpler here than it is in the Philippines. I believe in the Philippines you need to get, I don't know, many more documents, waiting huge lines. Recalculating. It's quite it's quite stressful in my opinion. But here in Australia they make it quite easy. Just walk in, walk out, turn jobs right done. Okay, so we're on our way to Canberra. We've just stopped here at the Balmatum um, visit rest area. We just had a bit of a toilet break, a bit of a bit of a drink, some snacks, and we're about to shoot off. Another, we've driven about 140 kilometres so far. Another 500 plus kilometres to go. Um, the road's really nice, nice and smooth, not much traffic. The rain started when we headed out, but it's eased off now. The clouds are sort of moving away. Still a bit overcast. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little rest area where you can drop in. Toilets are over there, so we're just having a quick, quick 
snack, a drink, and we'll be on our way shortly. So we'll see you very soon. First mistake, <laughs> trying to drive the car without a seatbelt, that's a fail. So you, all you guys who are trying to learn and drive and go for your road test, remember seatbelt first. Get in the car, put your seatbelt on. Alright, time to let the wife drive. Alright, so we've got 462 kilometres to go, 4 hours and 40 minutes. Been driving for about two hours now. Decided to let the wife have some experience on some open roads. These roads are really nice, they're smooth. What can I say? Melbourne or Victorian roads, they're really nice. We're heading to Canberra, so we'll see what the Canberra roads are like, but I'm assuming they're just as good. So I'll just show you a bit of the, the scenery. Going to Canberra, it's the first time the wife is driving on an open highway interstate. So, first time Filipino driving Victorian roads in Australia. Your it is your first time driving interstate. Interstate, first time on this road on the highway, Hume Highway, and in a brand new. Hyundai I-30. So for those of you who have never driven on an Australian road, we are on the Hume Highway going from Melbourne to Canberra. The speed limit on these roads is 110 kilometres an hour. Um, they do have speed cameras. They've got these signs all over the place to tell you to slow down and there is a new rule or a new law now in Australia if the police have stopped someone on the side of the road and the lights are flashing everyone on the highway needs to slow down to 40 kilometers per hour as they pass by so that's a new safety measure just to keep the boys and girls in blue safe there's a lot of people like to rubberneck if someone's been pulled over or there is an accident people will continue at their normal speed and they rubberneck rubberneck that means they're turning their head like a rubberneck to have a look and they're not watching where they're going so they do pull people over if you don't slow down to 40 k's as you overtake a, a police vehicle that has been pulled over I'm sure they'll pull you over. pictures of it but I never realized how big that is all right so we've arrived here 
at the ridges, that's the key card, yeah. So, park the car down in the secure parking lot. You know it does say park at own risks. It's better than parking it outside here where anyone can come past and so we're here, we're just gonna grab our stuff and go up to our room. So we'll see you in the room. Okay, so we are in the room and looks like we've encountered a problem. Uh, we booked the embassy suite, but this doesn't look like the embassy suite. And that doesn't look like a terrace to me, or a balcony, or a patio, or anything like that. Um, decent size, but it's just it's not what I ordered, not what I booked. Again, you can see no terrace. It's spacious, but it's not what I wanted. If I wanted this, I would have, I would have booked it. So, as you can see, I think this is a superior king room. It's got like a dressing room here. Cupboard space. Big flat screen TV in the bedroom. Another one out here, but it's sadly to say this is not what I booked. So I'm just waiting for the lady to give me a call back and see what they come up with. Just a quick note. Um, I also gauge some of my hotel stays by the toilet paper that they leave for you. Um, now I can understand in the Philippines they do tend to use the single ply it's not much of an issue but here in Australia when your three ply is not really that expensive cheap single ply toilet paper not happy at ridges ok welcome back um, so update after speaking to the lady in the reception we sorted things out um, I did push a little hard, I asked, I want what I paid for. I'm not paying for something that I didn't book. So she sort of rang around, first she told me there was nothing available, and then when I asked to get a refund, she said, oh, hang on a minute, well, uh, give me another minute, and then she came up with a solution, and this is it. So this is what I saw on the website, and this is what we are getting right now. So this is the Embassy Suite, as you can see this thing is 80 square meters, the one we had before was like half the size of this. So this is the, the room, you walk in from the front door there and straight away you get three cupboards, obviously let's have a look what's in here, okay three cupboards, hangers, one two and three so you've got an ironing board down the side there an iron and a hairdryer so tick 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 all of the above looking good so another view from this side bit of wasted space here really I mean they could have put like almost a, a kitchen table I mean this room is quite large it's probably one two three four probably five meters Cross from there to there and a good seven or eight maybe even nine meters from here all the way down to there so I'll just move up a little bit here you do get a full length mirror just as you walk in you got your air conditioning and heating controls here so that's the you get like these are actual two sofa beds so this room can actually accommodate up to six people and more if you get a couple of extra beds on that side so as you can see it's, it's large it's extremely large as it should be for an embassy suite I mean you're gonna get ambassadors staying in this place like myself the Zockstar need something big so I can stretch my arms and legs 
I get a nice big, looks like a 40 inch, maybe 40 inch flat screen over there. And over there you just get like a bit of a sink. Um, looks like the one you put in, a, in the bathroom to wash your hands, but that's deep, hot, cold water. We've got glasses here. Two glasses, two wine glasses, two normal glasses. We've got coffee and tea over there. We've got a hot water kettle there. Where's the bar? Where's the mini bar? So they do leave you with a fair few things here, like they did in the other room. We got we got vodka. We got Gordon's gin. A bottle of Shivers Regal. Bundaberg rum and some wild turkey. Nobby's nuts, salted, again with the same biscuits, the potato chips, the Kit Kat chocolates, the dominoes and the pickup sticks, bottle of wine, caramel popcorn and the two complimentary bottles of water. And of course we brought our own Pringles. Cheetos. Twisties. Ah, we've got the mangoes, the Cebu mangoes, dried mangoes, my favourite. Bottled water, some Coke, some Sprite. So our snacks are all good. You've got a nice little workstation here. Phone, nice little lamp. Nice little lamp there, adjusty, up and down, left and right. Nice and modern glass desk. Reasonable chair. Um, so, uh, let's have a look in here. I bet you it's in here. Ah, there it is. There's the, the safe. What's inside the safe? Okay, we got milk, we got Coke, Cascade beer, another bottle of white wine, some Coronas, bottle of V, James Bogue Draft, um, apple cider, Cascade. So, not bad. Some places that they don't get nothing in there. I mean, you've got you've got the stuff over there, some snacks, and you got the wine and. More drinks in there, and this is the separate king size bed in the king size room. Not bad, if you ask me. Got cupboards over there. It is a king size. Uh, actually, looks like it's a super king. So it's nice, wide. Another flat screen TV over there. One of those luggage trays, um, holders. What are these cupboards like? Okay, looks like they've left with some clothes. Oh no, that's the wife's clothes. Uh, two bathrobes. Still looking for that safe. No safe here, just another mirror. So, it doesn't look like there is a safe. What's in here? Nothing. Empty. So, Ridges Capitol Hill. Nice place. Reasonable hotel. Like, it's clean. This one smells a bit better than the other one. So, again, two sinks. Same as before. Sanitary bag, shower cap. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash and body lotion. Two towels. Actually, this actually looks smaller than the other one. You see where I am? And the other one, that's there and there. So the other one had a much larger shower and toilet area. Bathtub. Stashed behind the door. So although the room itself is massive, when you get to the shower and toilet there, it's reasonably small. I don't know why they do that. This is the embassy suite. And as we all know, most embassy staff eat well and are quite quite large in some 
circumstances, I think they'd be struggling to fit in that shower. The other one in the other room was, was bigger, much bigger. You could get two embassy staff in that one. So there you have it, guys. This is the Ridges uh, Hotel, Capitol Hill in, in Forest, which is Canberra. And just one more thing. Hopefully the wife won't distort the microphone audio because she loves to yell. Let's check this out. Okay, nice size terrace. So all these rooms here have terraces. Hello. We have a friend from the Philippines. Have a friend from the Philippines. Right. Nice terrace here. Not much of a view. Some views over there. Bit of a mountain ridge over there. Uh, we've got this really weird looking pine tree. It's sort of half dead. But we're not here for the trees. All these trees are obviously during winter, they're all asleep. As you can see, there's nothing on them. They will start waking up soon, you hope, once winter's finished. And that's about it. Would have been nice to have a bit of a, a wall here to separate. I uh, know. Oh there it is. That's the next room. Ah, oh, okay, that's a shame. Would have been nice to have a wall between these two rooms, otherwise, we're looking at each other. But we do have one over here. That's our room there, so we do have a, a separate terrace, but then you're looking at the bloke over there, so go figure. Anyway, that's the room tour of the ridges in Forest, in the ACT, the capital city of Australia. So, um, I think that'll be a video for today. I'm going to continue this tomorrow for our renewing of the passport so if you don't see me later tonight you will see me tomorrow morning peace out guys